Now, if somebody has a fibroid tumor in the uterus, you have to do the hysterectomy? Is that the treatment for you? You have to take the uterus out? Well, in some cases, yes, but in many cases, no. If, if a woman has fibroids and maybe say she's younger and she wants to maintain her fertility and the bleeding is the main problem, she may be able to be treated adequately with just birth control pills or some sort of hormonal therapy. So they may be able to shrink the fibroid or they make the uterus where it's more receptive to getting pregnant? Well, the, the hormonal treatment would be just trying to control the bleeding without necessarily having a direct impact on the fibroids. If somebody had um, uh, fibroids of the uterus and they didn't want to go through hysterectomy and they didn't like the word hormones, is there other treatment available? Well, uh, sometimes we go directly after the fibroids and remove them. And of course, if the fibroid is on the inside cavity of the uterus, that can sometimes be relatively simply done with a device we call a hysteroscope that can be inserted through the cervix and special instruments can be used to remove the fibroids that way. If not, then they have to be removed through the abdomen by a uh, laparoscope or sometimes just through an open procedure. How can a radiologist help remove fibroids? Well, if we're not going to remove the fibroid, is there a way to shrink them to make them smaller and then maybe minimize the symptoms that way? And that's uh, when they came up with the idea of uh, embolizing or, or placing material through the artery that's feeding the fibroid to block it. So the fibroid has to have a blood supply to live. Correct. And if the interventional radiologist can cut out that blood supply selectively? Or you just cut off blood supply to the uterus and it just... Well, they probably try to get as close to the fibroid as possible, but if they, if they, if they uh, you know, have a, a, a larger area that's involved, usually collateral circulation will, will rejuvenate that area. So how do they lim eliminate the blood supply? What do they do with it? They go in and... Well, of course, what? this isn't something I do, but I understand yeah. either little coils or beads or something like some material that they use uh, to do that. Are, and they, are they successful when they do that? Well, they're, they're to a certain degree. Uh, uterine artery embolization, myomectomy, or just removal of the fibroids or other things we do will have a certain success and failure rate. Hysterectomy is ultimately the, the cure. There's no chance of recurrence or anything like that, but we try to reserve that for patients who have finished childbearing and maybe have tried other more conservative therapies first.